Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and today we're going to learn how to create a minimalistic business card. Minimalistic designs are great for specialty printing. Uh, if you want to create an embossing business card, or you want to use thermal ink, or raised ink, or even specialty ink like gold or silver, which is why minimalistic designs are perfect for those type of situations. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's go ahead and create a new document. And let's select the print press ready type, uh, color format RGB since we're basing it off the monitor. And the page in width, the page width should be three and a half inches by two and a half inch high. Uh, this will be a horizontal uh, business card we'll work on. Uh, we'll change the margins to 0.167, which is one eighth of an inch. Um, and we'll use that as our guide for our text and logo. After entering all of the margins, hit OK, and a new blank artboard will pop up. And this is your business card with the margin guide intact. Now let's go ahead and create a corporate logo. And what better way to do that than to recreate the Star Wars Imperial Empire crest. So let's go over to our circle shape tool and create a circle. Now let's go over our color palette and let's change the color to black. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is to is because I like to work from the outside in uh, which you will see very shortly. With the circle selected, let's hold down the Alt key and drag the circle over. Let's go ahead and change the color to white and let's resize this. Now let's move the circle in the center of the black circle. Notice how it snaps to the center of the circle in the back, which is indicated by the red and green line. All right, so now let's go ahead and finish up our Star Wars logo. Now, let's select the cog tool. By default, it's under the triangle, but I've already had it selected as cog. Um, now, when you drag it out, it looks kind of like a gear shape but that's not the shape that we want. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go up to the properties bar where it says teeth and let's go ahead and change the number to six. And you'll notice that the amount of teeth in the gear shape or cog shape is minimized to six. Now let's zoom in to our gear shape and you'll notice these little red dots which means you can drag and manipulate the shape to your liking. Just like that. So I'm going to speed this part up a bit and I'll check back with you soon. Alright, so now that I have the shape that I wanted, I'm going to duplicate it. And again, I'm going to manipulate the shape again. But this time, I'm going to uh, add another shape on top of this cog shape, uh, which you'll see in a bit. Alright, so as you just saw, I added a circle shape on top of the cog shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both shapes 
and go up to the geometry toolbar and select add and what this does is it combines both of the shapes as one all right so let's go ahead and resize it and fit it into our logo design now let's wrap up our logo design by creating another cog shape and manipulate them. So I'm going to speed this part up a bit again and I'll check back with you soon. Alright, and now we have our finished logo. So let's go ahead and name this logo or company uh, using a sans serif font uh, or a sci-fi futuristic looking font. Uh, the difference between a serif and sans serif font is that sans serif is more modern and it doesn't have that tail end on on some of the letters, on most of the letters actually. So let's go ahead and call this the Imperial Empire as our company. And now we're going to align our text in the center, like so. Then we're going to go up to the layers menu and select convert to curves. And what this does is it converted all of the text into shapes. And as you expand the layer, you see that each shape or letter is a shape. And you can just adjust them to your liking, like so. Now we have our corporate logo. So let's go ahead and create some flavor text where we put our personal contact information. But first let's separate it by using a line. Or in this case, I'm going to use a rectangle shape and fill it in with black. All right, so now that we have our logo and our rectangle as a separator, it's time to fill in our contact information. Let's go over to our text tool and let's create a text box for our name. And for our name, we're going to use FN-2187 and that will be our name. Now this is an optional step by converting your name into curves. What this does is it creates all of your letters and turn them into individual shapes, which is easier for you to shift the letters around later on. Now let's go ahead and give our name a title. So let's create a text box and let's select a, a font that's thin and a sans serif font. No, nope, that's too big. Let's go for a, a smaller size as well because we don't want the title to pop out or stand out more than the name itself. So let's call ourselves a, a stormtrooper. <laughs> There you go. Now you see that little red underline? That means the predictive text or the stormtrooper is not in the software's dictionary. So to turn this off, you want to go to the let's see paragraph menu and change the language to none and the 
red squiggly line will dis disappear like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and fill out all of our other information. First, let's go up to our view menu, studio, and select assets. Assets are simply a library where you can store pre-made shapes. This is great for user interface design, social media, web icons, and it's a great way to keep your project design look consistent. So in this example, we're going to use a pre-made shape for telephone, the email, as well as the address icons. All right, so I'm gonna speed this part up a bit and I'll check back with you very soon. Okay, so now that we have our icons for our contact information, uh, let's go ahead and create some guidelines of where we can align our uh, text to. So you simply just go to the ruler with your mouse cursor and just uh, left click, drag and hold to the line, designated line, where you want it to be. Just like that. Okay, so now that we have our guidelines, let's go ahead and add in our contact information. So we're going to se select the Stormtrooper text and let's hold down the Alt key and left click, drag down, and we're just simply making duplicates and aligning it to our guidelines. And after that, we can edit all of our text by changing the information, the text information, or the alignment of the text to your liking. And that concludes our tutorial on how to create a business card design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating them. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, or what kind of tutorials you would like to see in the future. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to see what other creator projects or tutorials I will be working on. On that note, I'll see you next time.